Mm. This is going to be a very shockingly fast Bonzolian video. Real fast. I know I just yesterday did the old school one, which is 29 minutes and 7 seconds. This is a short one. The coveted John Bonham Moby Dick solo, Royal Albert Hall, January 9th, 1970. That's Jimmy Page's birthday. Bonham, remember he does the thing. I might be having the pattern here wrong, but like... That kind of, and then he's like... Starts going into that type of thing. And what he does is Bonham always was very right hand double uh, heavy. But what he does, imagine just real, again, real fast. Think of this. One and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a one and a two and one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a. So that's like eight. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sometimes that will throw people a little off in the later stuff that, you know, it sounds like you're not really sure what he's doing because it sounds like 4-4 four, four over here. It sounds real triplet. He kind of swung over here. But so what we're going to do here, again, remember this. One and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a. One and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a. And he sticks it like this. Right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. Now that's in the one and the two and the three and the one and the two and the three and a played over and over again for you to practice. Okay, it's like an inverted her. Well, let's put it this way. Think of the jazz beat in Tripletville. One of the options in Tripletville Jazz Beat. Um, you're playing in three, we'll say like three, four. But check this out. So, what it is, is it's really. <clears throat> when it's time to change, you've got to rearrange. But back to this. I have a hard time with my left hand on that because my regularly stick paradiddle diddle is, is shite. I always want to do it inverted, which means I start with the right but then do the double left, double right, and then the left into the right again. You know what I'm saying versus the... I just find that so foreign. But anyway, but I can show you this because I know what this is. This is the sticking Bonham does. And when you get George, George is going to hopefully make like a 12-part series on the Moby Dick Royal Albert Hall, that solo. But again, what I want you to do is just remember this. So one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a. The one and a two on the the schooner tune on the the one and a two and a on the end is just a regularly played paradiddle diddle. So you're going to go... That's it. Right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right. Just watch that over and over again. Slow it down a little. That's the main thing. And of course you can just practice the one and a two and a three and the one and a two and a three and the one and a two and a three and a which I recommend. practicing this now. This would be the best primer for you to get when George puts out the videos on the Royal Albert Hall. You want to start doing this now. And if you have even just basic technique, you'll pick up that paradiddle diddle, the right hand lead, really fast. You'll be able to do this really fast. Get the left, left hand in with it. Hang on, let me get the chain ring. I don't know what happened to the Rias two chain rings, man. For a long time, they were just called Canon hi-hat tambourine. Then they started referring to them as ching rings in the sales literature, and then they disappeared. Maybe Ralph Kester and his dude sickles pulled the plug on it. So. You know what I mean? And then you do cool stuff around the town. That's 
that's where that really cool stuff comes from. My email is bonzolium at gmail.com. If you have any questions on gear, symbols, anything, drums, bottom. Okay, bonzolium at gmail.com. I still have some t-shirts. still have some of my CDs floating around. More videos on the way. Another video this weekend as well as a live chat. Have a good weekend. Thank you.